Use that push. Yeah, keep going. Oh. oh. Whoa. Oh. 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 Right there. Hey y'all, this is Bo Brotherton with Better Together Life. We are continuing our series on rainwater harvesting. And today we're gonna to be talking about all things rain tanks. I'm gonna be giving you the name brand that we ended up with and where we bought the tanks. And of course, the total cost for these tanks. But before that, you're gonna to have to hang out a little bit. I'm gonna share with you the story of us getting these tanks and Kelly's reaction of them getting to our property because we delivered them ourselves and it was kind of funny. Okay, Bo's coming in and he's warning me that I have to give my truest, realest response to this tank. Oh! Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Like, that could hold enough for a city! Oh. <laughs> I didn't get the big one. It's like what they put Shamu in. That thing is huge! <laughs> and we're having two of them? Yeah, I mean, you gotta help me get it off. I don't, <laughs> I don't even have words right now. <laughs> what did it look like coming down? <laughs> it like, looked like a really pregnant whale. It <laughs> looked huge. So here we I go. don't know how we're going to do this. Well, first. How will we ever collect enough rainwater for that? <laughs> <laughs> you look so cute. We got to get it over there eventually. But my thought is let's just get it here first. Cause I don't want to drive through there. Or do you well, we think? We can drag it, can't we? We've seen we, people drag them. We can push it. Yeah. Yeah. We just we could shoot our eyes <laughs> really wide. <sighs> like what sumo wrestlers drink out of. <laughs> it's a mountain. It's enormous. I. It's, it's, it's enormous. Terrible. Yes. Oh. Also, I want people to leave the comments with your best adjectives for really large things like gargantuan, go, mon monstrosity. Go stand next to it. Do a, do a Vanna. <laughs> kind of scared of it. You're kind of <laughs> All right. Gargantuan. You know, I was going to say, Dad. I want to sit on it. Dad, how can I get up there? He's going to put a ladder to it. Yeah. Well, because otherwise it would have, like, this ratchet strap would have sunken it in there. Tree. We're afraid of everything. At the end. Ready? Ah! Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Let's try to lift this end. Why don't we... Oh. Try it. No, Ben. Come over here. Yeah. Try and like, lift and drag. Okay. I mean, not there's an easy way to do that, but... <laughs> Watch out for your hand. Oh. Um. <laughs> we got it. We got it. We got this. Okay, okay come back on this side. No, you're gonna push while I lift. Don't push too hard. No, baby. Just try it. Are you sure? Yes. You ready? Tell me one, two, three, go. Okay, I'm gonna lift on three. You're gonna push on four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Ah! Ow, almost, almost. Don't say that. 
You said ow, almost, almost. No, I didn't. You said ah, and I said almost, almost. I never said ow. Okay, okay. You want to do it again? Okay. Two, three, four. Yes. No, you're pushing in the wrong direction. The plug is here. Okay, okay, I'll get That's in the back. That's what it is. I'll get in the back right here. No, wait, stop. Come here. We gotta spin it. You're gonna pull down and I'm gonna push up. Pull, Ready? I'm gonna pull down. What? Like Wheel of Fortune. You think we're going... Well, then let's just both go on that side and push okay. up. Go for the dollar. Okay. One, two, three. There we yeah. go. We might be able to do it without it. Well, here, I got, I got leverage. Look at, look at all the dead bugs. That's so, so gross. The way. It should just freaking slide off. Maybe I push and you lift. Come look at it first. I need a wedge. Far. So I need to like wedge it. Life Uncontained made this look really easy. Well, they had a different trailer that's not this so freaking hot. No, no, no. I'm saying I think that they bought it at Tractor Supply. Yes, I'm saying I'm sorry you didn't rent a tractor. Let's see. Okay, I can get it up. Okay. That's what she said. Like, it's right now lifted, okay. but I don't know if you can push it. Let's see. Tell me what Here, you come do this, and I'll push. No, just tell me. I want to try. Okay. One. Okay, you're good. Push. Okay, you got it, baby. You said push. Yeah, keep going. Oh. Keep going. Ah. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me move this thing. Yeah. Oh. Let me try. Oh. Is, yes, it, is it recording? <laughs> All right, so here is the nitty gritty of our system. If you missed last week, we have a fully functional, like it is harvesting rainwater. We have a 5,000 gallon system. Currently, we have about, I would say 1,200 gallons right now because they're plumbed together and both of them are around about at 600 gallons so far. So we haven't filled them up just yet. But again, these are two 2,500 gallon tanks totaling 5,000 gallons. They are the exact same brand that you would see if you went to like Tractor Supply and saw that. The, the brand is called Norwesco. The main reason why I wanted to go with Norwesco really was just a personal opinion is I just like the look of it. I like the look of the smooth face of these. There's another brand that I'm not really sure of. They have like ribs in them and I just, to me, I didn't like the look of that. And so these are really big things that you're gonna have to see every single day. And I wanted the nice smooth look of the Noresco. Also, I just trusted them because of how widely available they are. So I knew that, hey, they evidently don't make junk tanks. They're a good quality tank. And of course, I'm gonna keep on teasing for you guys that are impatient. Don't worry, I'm gonna be talking about the cost here. I just wanna tell the full spectrum of how we just found them. So just hang on tight. We're gonna be talking about how much they cost. I promise you're gonna know how much these cost today. Okay, so why did we not go with Tractor Supply? Tractor Supply has these exact same tanks and the price for them is $1,300 per tank. It's not a bad deal. And honestly, I probably would have gone with them had I not found this other option and dove in a little deep. That's why I wanna be able to share with you guys that it's possible that you could save the same amount of money that we saved. So $1,300 per tank at Tractor Supply. Now the good thing that if you wanted to go that route, yes, you're gonna be playing a little bit more, but you're local. There's usually a Tractor Supply very close to where you are. So all you would need to do is just, you know, you can even rent a trailer from them. They'll help you load it in there and then you only have like a five or 10 minute drive to your property or your house. That's really, really convenient. And I don't know what I would recommend if I had to do it over again because the route that I did was sort of a pain in the butt. So we didn't go with Tractor Supply. I found a website called National Tank Outlet and they retail Norwesco tanks. They're kind of basically like a drop shipping 
you know, they're, they're, a, they're a retailer for it. They, you know, they have an account with Noresco and they, all that they do is they just sell the product. So Noresco, they don't actually sell the tanks. They manufacture the tanks and then they count on places like Tractor Supply and National Tank Outlet. There's other couple of websites that probably do the same thing. And they use these other retailers to sell their product. Now, National Tank Outlet, I have to say that we are not affiliated with this company at all, like zero, we are not sponsored by them. I'm only mentioning their name, their website name, because I wanna be able to give you, our viewers, this information. But if it wasn't for you guys, I probably would not give them any marketing at all because I'll have to be honest, I was not impressed with their customer service. They just were not very helpful. I gave them the big chunk of money that I paid them. It was just a convoluted policy and way that they handle stuff. I was ready to go and pick up the tanks, but they wouldn't let me. So I had to wait like three days to be able to pick these things up. And that was a pain. And just the customer service over the phone was not what I would want. So I would say that if you wanna be able to go this route to save the, as much money as we have saved, plan it, really know that it's not the best customer service. You're gonna to have to put up with some stuff. You're gonna to have to really give you some, some padding because if you go this route, it's gonna take a decent amount of your time to be able to get these tanks. Now, National Tank Outlet did offer a uh, delivery of them, but I think the charge was about $600. And so that was a big chunk, and it really puts you right back at the price of tractor supply. Now, the reason why we ended up going with this route is because not only could I save the money by buying it from National Tank Outlet, but there's also a Norwesco manufacturing plant that was local to us here in Texas. And when I say local, I mean it was about a two hour drive from our current property. It saved us money for sure, but it, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, it was a pain. It was a pain in the butt. So what I did is I rented a six by 12 U-Haul trailer and we were able to just pull it behind our Honda Pilot and it worked. These things are not very heavy but they are also not at all aerodynamic. So I just now have my first rain tank loaded up. I am so scared right now. Holy cow, I'm terrified. This thing is huge. This is a big giant thing sitting on the back of the trailer like you just saw, and I had to drive for two hours one way, and I only could transfer one at a time. So I had to make the trip twice. Yes, it was annoying and if you value your time, it might be more worth it to just buy it locally at Tractor Supply or if you can save a little bit by going with National Tank Outlet, just go ahead and hire them to deliver it. Now, one thing that I would say that I did not think of because I didn't think this was gonna be that this big of a pain in the butt, I maybe could have hired my own person to go and deliver it. I could have contacted Noresco, see if they have you know their own uh, drivers or someone that they would recommend. I talk with them and then they have like a big 18 wheeler, you know, something that they could fit both of these on and they just make one trip and maybe I would pay like 400 bucks. But let's go on to the Specifics, let's talk about the cost that I paid for these tanks. All righty, all righty. So how much did we save on these tanks? So remember, these tanks from Tractor Supply locally that I could be able to get them to my house really, really easy, they were $1,300 a piece. I was able to buy these tanks from National Tank Outlet out the door for $900. $43.99. So the money that I saved per tank, so that saved me, that saved me a total of $712.02. <laughs> that was significant. Now, let me say that, that that was a little bit less than that because then I did have to rent a U-Haul trailer for $52.75. And then I had to pay for some heavy duty ratchet straps to be able to, 
strap this thing into the U-Haul trailer. So that was about $30.71. So if you count those things, and I don't know the gas. So the gas was probably like a hundred bucks because I had to take so long. So if you add a hundred dollars in gas by traveling back that much, and it might've been more than that, that puts me at saving $528.56. So it may or may not be worth it for you to go this route because of the extra travel. It was for us because for us, we needed to get this system in as close to the $3,000 rebate as we could. So we already have, and I'll show you here in the next couple of videos, we have been paid. We have gotten our $3,000 rebate. It works. And I'll share with you the total amount that everything costs us out the door with that rebate at the end of this series. So we needed to get it as low as possible. And for us, Better Together Life, we both work from home. I basically paid myself $528 over the course of those two days with the travel that I had to do. So I got paid for driving. It might not be worth it for you to do it this way. It might be worth it for you just to have them come and deliver it to you or for you to get it from a local tractor supply or someone else that retails these locally to your area. Because also you might not have the access to the Noresco manufacturing facility like I did. It might be five hours and I definitely would not have driven five hours to pick these things up. It would not have been worth it to do that. That's up to you. It's my job to be able to give you guys as much information as we can so that you can learn from what we're doing here on our property. We are harvesting rainwater, y'all, from our shed to house into our seamless gutters, into our 5,000 gallon rainwater harvesting system. And for us here in Texas, it really is reminding me of a quote from Masanopu Fukuoka. He is a famous guy in permaculture and regenerative agriculture. And one of the famous things that he says is never end a drought with a full pond. Guys, we are in a dry land here in this area of Central Texas. And this, we don't currently have a pond really right now. Our, our pond is like just a water hole in the back that we have to figure out how to fix and it's gonna cost us like nine grand. But right now we have a sort of 5,000 gallon pond here behind our shed to house. We're not using it yet for our household water, so what we can do is use all of this for our property. We can use this all to irrigate our pasture over here, to use it for our animals. Because every single summer here in Texas, it's a drought. It does not rain for about 10 weeks. It's, it's pretty sad, but that is why we are doing this. That is why I'm very excited about Texas A&M and this program that they're doing with our local water conservation uh, for our surrounding counties. I know that a lot of y'all have questions about that. Uh, email us and we'll try to give you some more information. You can email us at bettertogetherlife at gmail.com. Also, if you wanna be able to get our full income expense report for our Shed to House build, I'll put the link down here. It's just bettertogetherlife.com slash report. That's bettertogetherlife.com slash report. And you can get all the expenses for our shed to house build. And of course, I will be adding on the details of this rainwater harvesting system there. It's not there yet, I gotta get to that. Thank you so much guys for watching. We'll see you next Sunday, every Sunday. That's when we're gonna be uploading our big main videos and we might be having some videos midweek for like product reviews like we just did with the Ariette Boots video. That's not every week, but every once in a while we'll do a midweek one. But every Sunday, every Sunday morning, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna see a Better Together Life homesteading type video that you, I know you're gonna enjoy. And we have several more weeks for rainwater harvesting. Thank you guys, see y'all next Sunday. Little, I put it five feet away from the house. Just, there's gonna be so much weight on these, in these tanks whenever they're full, that I really don't want that weight to be close to the house.